Hey yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here. So yes, going by the title of this video, of course, we're gonna dive into when you should actually start into the future chapter one. Of course, this is a beginner guide, a beginner progression type guide, of course, but like a recent video we did where we broke down and got into even more detail about these small parts of the progression in the beginner phase, we're gonna break down right before into the future one and when you should actually be ready. So as someone in the beginner phase of Battle Cats, of course, this is going by the progression guide. There's still many questions about when you should actually start to do Into the Future Chapter 1. Some people start it right away after Chapter 3, and all of this is really talked about in the beginner's progression guide I did a while back, and that pretty much summarizes everything about progressing smoothly in the beginner phase. But in this, of course, we're going to go into even more detail, like I mentioned earlier. So what is the choice here? Do you start Into the Future right after Chapter 3, Empire of Cats? Or do you hold off and wait? And how long do you wait? How do you know when you're actually ready to conquer all of Into the Future Chapter 1? Well, throughout this video, of course, we're going to go through a whole list of things and not everything I could possibly think of, but... Just a few major points to really hammer down when you should actually start Into the Future Chapter 1. And of course, the first thing we're going to start off with here is of course cat levels. Now the way Battle Cats is designed is of course if you lack the levels in your units then of course you're going to fall behind. I mean that goes pretty much for any progression in almost any game. But with Battle Cats it's a little bit different here because you can use something to your advantage. And that is using certain units, but we'll get into that later in the video. But as for cat levels specifically, it goes either way. If you have all the treasures and you're getting all the treasures for Into the Future Chapter 1, you could really skate by with just level 20 cats at minimum. But if you don't have all the treasures, of course, you're gonna have to aim for that level 30 mark or near that level 30 mark. Of course, with certain levels it isn't a fixed level you have to really aim for because there's just so many variables that goes into each account because some units might be really good for certain stages and you might not even need high levels you could just carry with that certain unit and some units might just perform even well at just level 20 and maybe you don't need to get them to level 30 at all so taking some of these variables into account of course we could break it down into one category so all of your main attackers should be a minimum of level 20 i would say and if you don't go for the treasures by the way i do recommend absolutely going for the treasures but for some reason if you don't then i would aim for the high 25s or even 30 if you're really struggling but Minimum is 20, but then there's also your crowd control units that's in a whole separate category here which don't require levels as much as your attackers. So it is a whole different variable right here. So that means even with your level 20 or level 30 or near level 30 attackers, you don't have to get your crowd control units to level 30 as well. They can stay at level 10 Level 1 even works in some cases because that's perfect for their role and they could perform well at that level. And if we look at the opposite side, of course, you want your attackers to really benefit from those levels. That is why we aim for the higher levels for our main attackers. Speaking of main attackers, there is a very crucial main attacker here that I always mention in every single beginner progression guide, really. And that is Crazed Whale. Now, Crazed Whale is a really juggernaut of a unit to have so early in the game. And don't be fooled, it is also very easy to obtain very early in the game. With just level 20 to 25 cats. And all you need is a crit hitter for the stage. And of course, you can get that free just by beating the red cyclone and getting that drop reward for space cat. Then of course you can take on the crazed fish stage and obtain crazed fish. It is very simple, very very simple for such a powerful unit to have in the beginning of the game. 
And if you for some reason still don't believe me, you can test it out for yourself. Get Crazed Whale in the beginner phase of the game and just watch him destroy everything. I've gone through many, many, many accounts reaching endgame, starting over again, reaching endgame, starting over again. But one thing that hasn't changed at all throughout all of those runs is the tremendous power from Crazed Whale in the beginner phase and how easy it is to get in the beginner phase. If you have all the treasures for Into the Future Chapter 1 as you progress, Crazed Whale can pretty much solo the whole of Into the Future Chapter 1, which is very insane to think about, and it is something you should really keep in mind. So yes, Crazed Whale, highly, highly gonna throw that in there as a recommendation and a must for a beginner phase, because it is so easy to get. So easy, don't sleep on the goat, crazed whale. So we've talked about two conditions here already, two major conditions at the very least. Cat levels and of course crazed whale as a certain condition to win as you take on Into the Future or when you will be ready for Into the Future Chapter 1. But there's also another thing, another condition that'll help you tremendously and that'll let you know that maybe you are actually ready for Into the Future Chapter 1. That is of course, Alien Counters. And of course this could be divided into the two categories like before, your attackers and of course your crowd control units. And the main one here is actually your crowd control units because they require very little investment and they can do their job perfectly fine at very low levels so you get the most value out of them with very minimal investment. Units like Psycho Cat is a very, very crucial unit to have for Into the Future, especially for those staple stages like Floating Continent, where you can just crowd control lock the boar, and other stages where you could just heavy crowd control lock a lot of alien enemies, and it'll just make your life a lot easier. But of course, there isn't just Psycho Cat. There's also Majiga Cat, which can work very well paired with Psycho Cat or even alone as well. But there's also units like Rover. Rover works as a very nice option for stalling or meat shielding, and it could fulfill that alien counter role. Units like Seafarer is a very powerful unit to have because not only is it a attacker for your aliens, but is also a crowd control unit at the same time. Of course, having that chance to freeze, even if you don't have the true form, just having Surfer is a huge help. Then you have other staple units like Saw, and of course, we can't forget Chill. While only really a huge power leap at true form, of course, I'm talking about Wheel Cat, but I mean, it is a certain condition to win against these alien stages if you are struggling, so there is a lot of things to keep in mind. If you have ubers that counter aliens, let's say Aphrodite or Amaterasu, Gangline, there's a lot of ubers here that you can use. Pretty much any uber that counters aliens will help. All of them will help. Even if they are just level 10, just level 10 anti-alien uber, and the power of your treasures, you can skate by Into the Future Chapter 1 very easily. But the thing here is, a lot of people don't actually know if it'll work or not. People are always up in the air and worrying or stuck in thought because they don't know if they could actually do Into the Future Chapter 1. Well, there should be no worries. If you have any of those conditions, then all you really need to do is just make sure you have at least some of the treasures at that point. Then you can really just skate by. If you get all the treasures, you won't really have an issue at all. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, if you have Crazed Whale and you have all of the treasures, you could pretty much solo the whole of Into the Future Chapter 1. Of course, it's the obvious units like all of the Fest Ubers, the Uber Fest Ubers, the Epic Fest Ubers. Pretty much all of them can carry you here, you won't have any issues at all. But there's also other units that are also non-alien counter units that can also greatly help in this stage. Like, we're using one of them in this lineup right here, of course Swimmer or the True Form Fishman can tremendously help, of course, speedrunning all of these stages, just having a nice 
DPS unit or a nice chip damage unit or burst damage unit. Very nice. Also a very nice burst damage unit is Dancing Flasher or Can Can or Hip Hop Cat. Either name works. Of course there's stuff like Ring Girl or Weightlifter and there's stuff like Paris or Cyborg or Salon. There's just a lot of other conditions here that'll definitely help you win or at least help you decide when to start Into the Future Chapter 1. In the beginner progression guide, the smooth progression guide, I mentioned how you should go into SOL before going into Into the Future. If you want to take the smooth route and build up, of course, a lot more levels, XP, cat food, and all of that other stuff before taking on and just sweeping Into the Future. Well... Of course, I also mentioned in that video, if you have the right units, if you have the right preparation, then you can just hop right into Into the Future Chapter 1 early. Well, these are those preparations, these are those conditions. But of course, the last deciding factor in the last condition, even if you don't have any of the previous conditions mentioned before, there is of course one condition that solidifies your win in Into the Future Chapter 1. And that is, of course, what we've been doing in the background of this video this whole time. That is, of course, none other than farming the treasures. Getting all of the treasures superior. Even if you don't have Crazed Whale, even if you don't have any anti-alien counters, even if you don't have some of the key gacha units, there is one thing that'll save you and that is the treasures. Even if it might be a bit of a hassle to get them, it doesn't take too long. There is treasure festivals all of the time for Into the Future Chapter 1, of course. You can set notifications for treasure festivals, of course, in the events tab in the menu. And you can get notified for all of the treasure festivals so you won't miss any at all. So at the bare minimum, with just level 20 units and the treasures, you can skate by in Into the Future Chapter 1 very easily. But of course, the problem is people don't want to get the treasures. Well, of course, with no treasure festivals, of course, it can be very annoying. But I found through all of my runs going through Battle Cats over and over again, I found that treasure grinding isn't really that bad. Because all you have to do is just really wait for the treasure festival. And once the treasure festival is on, you play the stage at most... There is a situation where you'll have to play the stage like seven times to get the superior treasure. But the average times I've found that it takes to get a superior treasure for the first time playing the stage included, it takes an average four times. And that is not that bad at all because think about how quickly you are going to beat these levels. Of course, if you have units like Giraffe, decently leveled i mean even at level 20 it works just fine but if you have giraffe at a high level that'll help out tremendously but if you have units like crazed whale swimmer or other rusher units to help you kill the base faster then of course this speeds up the process even more so four average tries for a superior treasure isn't really anything at all because these runs are taking like max 30 seconds. Of course there is going to be those oddities where you have that one stage where it takes like 7 tries, 10 tries even with the treasure festival to get that superior treasure and some stages might just take long for some reason but that's not for every single level. Most of the levels or a huge majority of them are very fast and very easy to do so you can just hop in Hop out and just hope for the treasure. If you don't get it, then just do it again and repeat. And in no time, you can get a lot of the treasures for Into the Future Chapter 1. So to wrap this all up, when are you ready to start Into the Future Chapter 1? Of course, the first condition is your cat levels. Level 20 is the minimum, I would say. But of course, there is some variables in there as well. Like if you have the power of a strong carry then you can skate by with lower level units. But I would say level 20 is the minimum. So that is one condition to when to start Into the Future Chapter 1. If you have level 20 units and you're aiming for the treasures, that is already a reason to start. But another big reason is of course getting Crazed Whale. 
If you get Crazed Whale, there's no reason why you should wait and not do Into the Future Chapter 1, because Crazed Whale completely demolishes Into the Future Chapter 1. And of course, the other condition we mentioned is of course the gacha side, using of course your alien counters or just straight counters for certain levels, stuff like Swimmer to just beat levels faster or just demolish everything in its path, stuff like Seafarer to just completely overpower every single level or surfer even and ubers like aphrodite and amaterasu and stuff it is just a lot to go through so if you have really any good gotchas it is very easy to just skate by in into the future chapter one and of course the wrapping point is the treasures even with all of the conditions, of course, the most important thing is the treasures. If you get the treasures, you'll have no issue to begin with. So yeah, that is a pretty short explanation of the conditions for Into the Future Chapter 1 or some of the main conditions. The summarized conditions, of course, I can't go into too much detail here because, of course, this video is going to be an hour long if I just sit here and just keep going into even more detail. So I wanted to keep it pretty short as much as I could, but also at the same time have some info in there so people can take apart what they need and use it for their own benefit. Of course, let me guys know down below when you started Into the Future Chapter 1 in your account. And of course for me, I always start Into the Future Chapter 1 after I get Crazed Whale because I just know how overpowered crazed whale is in the beginner phase. So if you're unclear on when to start into the future, I hope this did help you in some way to make that decision of when to actually go on it. But yeah, it's pretty much it for this short, well I guess I can't say short guide now, medium sized guide now. Join the Google Discord, link is in the description down below. Of course, drop a like if this guide helped you out. Subscribe if you're new, join the hashtag Boogle Gang. It's been John Boogle, and I'll see you for another Battlecast video soon.